Hello and welcome to this special question and answer video on Agapanthus, commonly known as the African lily or lily of the Nile. Just take a look at it. Isn't it beautiful? You get them in blues, you get them in whites. I've always found this a magical summer plant. It almost glows with its colour. When it opens up into the full lollipop shape, it's absolutely spectacular. Now I have looked through Google once again to find the most searched for question about this impressive bloom. But before I start, it'd be great, please, if you could give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who enjoy plants and gardens and subscribe to my channel. There's loads of great videos coming up. Also, I'd like to hear about your questions. Maybe you've got an Agapanthus yourself or another favourite plant of the summer. So please add them in the comments section below and I'll make another video that'll cover these. Right, let's answer those Google questions. First up, where is Agapanthus native to? They have been traced back to specific location in South Africa to the cliffs of the Cape of Good Hope. Now, Agapanthus grew naturally between crevices and rocks, adding to the wonderful colours of the landscape. Another question, are Agapanthus annuals, biennials or perennials? Well, Agapanthus, good news, is they're perennial. They come back each year and produce large globe-like shape of small trumpet flowers all joined together. Which garden style is best for Agapanthus? Agapanthus are often used in garden designs because of their beautiful globe-shaped blooms in summer and they'll serve and charm a cottage style just as well as a traditional garden. In fact, they're very versatile to almost any space. How do you grow Agapanthus from seed? These plants are pretty straightforward when growing from seed. First of all, you collect the seed from the flowers, then you germinate them and they should flower themselves within two to three years. You extract the seed from the brown seed heads and this should come out pretty easily. This is because the capsules will start to burst already, getting ready to spray out the seed. It's best to let the seed pod ripen on the plant and you can identify this because they turn brown. Sow the seeds in a tray indoors between February and March. And sow them over peat-free compost and cover them over with a little bit of sharp grit. Once the seedlings are strong enough, Thin them out by taking them out of the tray, separating them ready for potting and pot them individually to make sure they get their own space. Then gradually harden them off between April and early May before planting them between late May and early June. You harden the plants off by putting them in a sheltered position, either a cool greenhouse, a cold frame or a cold porch or something similar, slowly getting them used to being going outside. This will prepare them better for cooler temperatures uh, that they'll be exposed to when you plant them out. Try planting them approximately 60 centimetres apart. If you would prefer to sow your seeds outdoors straight away, you can do this straight into the soil between June and July. Now, how long does Agapanthus take to germinate from seed? Well, it takes a little bit of time. Germination can take up to one month after the Agapanthus seeds have been sown. They're best sown indoors where you can keep the temperature between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius to speed their growing up. What time of year do you collect the seeds? Well, of course, after the flower heads have faded, and that's likely to be mid to late September. How do I know when my agapanthus seeds are ready to harvest? Well, once the petals have started to fall off, remove the pods from the center of the flower gently, as not to accidentally spill some of the seeds and end up sowing them on the ground naturally. Make sure you wait until the seed pod has ripened on the plant, and you can see that when it's turned completely brown. When do Agapanthus start growing back? Well, Agapanthus will start to re-emerge in spring after the winter frosts have faded. This will also mean that the soil is warmer and there are more hours of daylight to help the plant grow. Do Agapanthus self-seed? Well, Agapanthus will self-seed. Effectively, just as the seeds are setting and they fall off, they go straight into the ground and germinate. That's if you don't remove the seed heads. What happens is, is they spray as well as, as, they, as the seed head opens, it's cassic it because it's a natural way of the plant spreading. Is Agapanthus easy to grow? Well, of course it is. Agapanthus is pretty easy. It's one of the easiest plants to grow because it's done by bulbal rhizome. And a rhizome is just a stem full of energy that grows underground horizontally producing new plant systems like shoots and roots. 
The rhizomes store foods such as proteins, nutrients, starches and glucose to help them survive in unfavourable environment conditions. They're likely to be grown in well-drained soil, full sun and they should thrive in there very well. Agapanthus grows particularly well in pots and containers. They need a good compost and try to find a sunny position for them that's a little bit sheltered. How do you grow Agapanthus? Well, plant them in spring, either in pots or directly into the garden. They prefer a sheltered position to offer some protection during harsh winters. And if you choose to grow them in a container, terracotta pots are ideal because they help keep the roots warm during the summer. Feed Agapanthus in spring with a slow release fertiliser and water regularly during the growing season. You'll need to feed Agapanthus in borders and containers slightly differently. For border plants, use the balanced fertilisers such as blood, fish and bone. And containers, use liquid feed. And do this fortnightly when the plants really start to show colour. How long do Agapanthus live for? Well, Agapanthus should live for, for several years, certainly with a good healthy regime. Repot them every two years to give them more room to grow if you're growing them in containers. Now, how big do Agapanthus grow? Well, the smallest Agapanthus is approximately 20 to 60 centimetres tall, and the taller Agapanthus, ink spots, they can grow to a height of 1.5 metres. How long does Agapanthus flower for? Well, most variety of Agapanthus flower for up to six weeks. Yeah, it's quite a long time, but there are some varieties, specifically special ones, that have been bred to flower longer. Wait for it, 10 to 12 weeks. Starting in mid-July, Agapanthus Flower of Love is a specific variety bred to flower for these 10 to 12 weeks. Are Agapanthus good for bees? Yes, they are, and one's just flown past. Honeybees, like mine, over the far side there, they love them. The purple shades of many Agapanthus varieties is especially attractive, as purple is the colour that bees can see better than any other shade. Are Agapanthus frost hardy? Well, they should be, especially grown in a more of a sheltered position. Remember where they're from, South Africa. The hardier varieties like Agapanthus Windsor Grey have an RHS hardiness rating of five, which means they can survive outside for minus 15 degrees. They're pretty tough. More tender varieties like Agapanthus praecox, albiflorus, only have an RHS rating of two, which won't tolerate anything really hard freezing. Agapanthus prefer to be planted in a sheltered spot to protect them from this cooler weather. Their fleshy roots are particularly vulnerable to frost, so protect them with a layer of mulch, then remove this in spring as the growth starts again. If you have an evergreen Agapanthus, Agapanthus praecox and Agapanthus africans, then use horticultural fleece to give them that extra protection. Does Agapanthus flower in the first year? Well, if you buy an established plant from a garden centre, then yes, your Agapanthus should flower in the first year. If you decide to sow from seeds, you may have to wait two to three years for the plant to mature. Does Agapanthus need a lot of water? Well, they need regular water during the growing period to ensure the soil is moist between April and September. The soil does need to be well drained so the roots aren't really sitting in water. Do Agapanthus need staking? Agapanthus stalks tend to be quite rigid, as you can see here, but you can support the flower heads if you wish with canes, but I just leave mine because they're pretty heavy. If your Agapanthus is really top heavy, then give it some gentle support. Your local garden centre will have specific supports to be able to help make sure the flowers stay upright. Alternatively, you can grow them against a wall where it's a little bit shady and the wind won't blow it too much. What do you plant with Agapanthus? Well, they stand out well against a backdrop of ornamental grasses. Or lavender is another good option for a companion plant for Agapanthus because they both have similar growing requirements and of course many varieties, both of the different types of plants also have purple in common. If you want to learn more about lavender, I have done Google's most asked questions on that beautiful plant too. Does Agapanthus bloom all summer? Well, Agapanthus has a long blooming period starting from midsummer rather than early summer. However, it will bloom right up to early autumn. So it keeps this beautiful flower colour in display. It's well worth adding one to your garden. Can you divide Agapanthus? Yes, and I would suggest dividing them every four to five years. Otherwise, they crowd together 
uh, uh, which can affect a lot of flowering. You can divide clumps of agapanthus into smaller clumps, making sure you're producing more plants and obviously thinning them out a bit. And you do this uh, very early spring or into autumn and effectively you're producing more plants by dividing them. Lift the clump using a fork. Sometimes I'll put two forks back on back and then use them to actually pull the clump of the roots apart or you can use a sharp knife to separate them and then you've got two separate plants. Put one back in the garden and plant one in another location. Will agapanthus spread? Well, if you allow them to self-seed, yes, agapanthus can spread. And of course, if you don't divide them, the clumps get bigger and bigger. And it also uh, depends on the climate when your seeds burst. They may not be successful to self-seed, um, but if they do, there's every chance they'll germinate and your areas of agapanthus just get bigger and bigger. What are the common problems with agapanthus and how do I fix them? Well, not enough sunlight is one thing. Agapanthus will struggle to flower without regular sunlight. They, they usually like between six and eight hours a day if possible. And also making sure that they've got plenty of room as well. Some people say that keeping them quite tight in a container encourages more flowers, but letting the whole clump grow and making it difficult for the plant to get water can cause difficulty. So take care of your plants. How do I stop slugs and snails from eating my agapanthus? You don't have to. Yes, slugs and snails don't really like eating agapanthus. So it's a great option if you struggle with these pests in your garden. So plant them amongst your slug vulnerable plants and they may be a slight deterrent. Is agapanthus poisonous to humans? Yes, it is. It contains a toxin called saponin, which is poisonous to humans. It'll cause stomach upset if eaten, but rarely causes anything really severe. Is agapanthus poisonous to pets? Well, yes, they're toxic to pets. Try to grow them in containers or out of reach for dogs and cats so they don't get poorly if they're eating them. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video insightful. Agapanthus are amazing eye-catching with their bright, colorful blooms standing tall in the borders. Here's some of mine just coming out. You know, I like seeing them in bud just before they open. And it almost seems to be ultraviolet light with these beautiful blue ones here. I've got some white ones over the far side as well. They're gorgeous. Please, would you be able to give the video a thumbs up for me and also subscribe to my channel for more great content like this. Remember to switch on notifications to be notified of my latest videos.